by Brooke here. Today is another review video. Just saying, I think we're going to do one more because I've got one built that I was supposed to do a video on a long time ago, but I didn't. And I also made this Yoda hut, but I don't know where it is now. So yeah, that's kind of annoying. But I'm going, I'm going to be showing you the um golden idol scene in Indiana Jones, The Raiders of the Lost Ark, where, yeah, he's trying to get the idol. So, I just basically put the normal Indiana Jones figure in it. I'll just lay him down. And I put Satipo in. He was his helper on the way into the temple. I just did him in a kneeling position where his leg doesn't stay there. So it's just, yeah. Because you have to take off the legs and it's like hips. So it, he doesn't stand up too well on the ground. He can only stand up on the bricks. But anyway, I'll get into the um, review. But before I do... I'll teach you how to make him and I'll put his legs back on normally. Okay, um, I don't really think I have to take him apart, but yeah, I'll just, I'll just tell you the things. Um, light grey pants, Aldrich, Aldrich, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Aldrich Killian from Iron Man 3, 3, I think it's 3 anyway, I know it's one of the Iron Man movies, and yeah, his top, and then the Star Wars face, I think this is only a Star Wars face, so yeah, Th but this hairpiece is actually Satipo's real Lego minifigure hairpiece, but it does come in other sets like Harry Potter. If you have this hair piece and it's not um, Sad Hippo's hair piece, it's probably Harry Potter's. But yeah, doesn't matter. But you probably know how to make the Lego Indiana Jones already. But the satchel might be hard for you to put on. I might just show you how to put it on now. So when you've got up to the torso, lift his arm up. Well, no, you don't actually have to lift his arm up actually you can put it over actually you can put it over his head it's just like harder see yeah you just put it over his head but make sure you lift the arm up and then yeah just put it over the shoulder and then pull it down so it stays there and then yeah his hat okay now i'll get into the review so I've ju I'll just take him off. So I've done the... It's kind of mini scaled. But if you were wondering what I did for the idol, I'll just turn it around. This, this came in Superman and Crypto vs. Lobo set. And that's where you'll find this. But there actually is a kind of play feat in this you might have noticed that it has this thing at the back and in the movie he swaps the idol with a um girl, with a bag and yeah then doesn't go too well kind of drops down slowly yeah that's what happens we i might do we might do some editing to um show you the part where um it goes down on the platform but we might not when this video is finished we might edit it but yeah moving on so i did i did the platforms on the um ground that he, that were dangerous when when they just saw the idol and then and then there were these leaves covering up like one of these brown kind of things and then they got a stick and they put it into the ground and then an arrow shot out 
So the brown ones are dangerous and then he just kind of has to walk his way along. But the in the movie it's much longer, like I said, it's kind of mini scaled. And then I just put a little plant there. Oh yeah, so it's not that amazing. I don't even need it there. But I was thinking about, before I made this um, video today in the morning, before I went to school, I was thinking maybe the back of that should have a little platform with a, with a little um, thing behind it, with the wall, because that's what it's like in the movie. But then I thought, nah, I don't really need to, because, yeah. I think this is going a bit too late, but I'm just going to... I'm just going to stop it soon, but I was just thinking of putting a little plate here and then doing a wall. But if you were thinking, oh, you just made it all today in one day. No, I didn't. I actually made it quite a long time ago, but I did. But I changed the idol up a bit a few times. But I do not have a Lego set hippo yet, but I will get him. If you... If this did not have printing on the back, uh, from the back. This would honestly be the back of Sad Hippo minifigure. Because the hair is right, the head is not double-sided. And his top is the only bad thing. If it was like, if there wasn't any printing on the back, it would have been good. And the pants are completely great. Of course, Lego doesn't do printing on the back of legs. They only do, like, dual molding legs. So... Yeah, but that's basically it for this review video. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's basically it. Um, yeah, bye.